Our scripture reading today is taken from Matthew chapter 6 and verses 33 and 34. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take no thought for tomorrow, for tomorrow will take care of itself. Sufficient unto the day is their evil thereat. We are living in a very fearful and uncertain times. And we're inclined to worry about tomorrow. We plan our day, but we really don't know what will happen or could happen tomorrow. The hymn writer penned these words, One day at a time, sweet Jesus, that's all I'm asking from you. Give me the strength to do every day what I have to do. Yesterday's gone, and tomorrow might never be mine. Lord, for my sake, teach me to take one day at a time. In the book of James chapter 4 verses 13 and 14, we are reminded that if we say today or tomorrow, we will go into the city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain. Whereas we don't know what shall be on the morrow. For what is your life? It is even as a vapour that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. But what you should say is, if the Lord will, we shall live and do this or do that. Here we're reminded from God's word that our life is short. It's like a vapour. And we plan, but we really don't know what will happen. But if the Lord is in our plans, and it is his will, we shall do those things. Many people go through life without Christ, without the Lord in their life and in their plans. They never thank God for his son. They never thank God for the food on their table. All they think about is themselves. The hymn writer penned these words, Room for pleasure, room for business, but for Christ the crucified. Not a place that he can enter in the heart for which he died. Now here is the most important matter. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. We are to seek God's salvation through the Lord Jesus Christ first. No matter what plans you have made for tomorrow, you are to make sure that you seek his righteousness, not your own self-righteousness, but his clothed clothed in those garments of God's salvation provided for at the cross, the Bible reminds us that all our own righteousness, it is as filthy rags. You may be a respectable member of the community, go to your church and even worship God, and yet you're not made righteous in Christ. Why not come today? Take the garments that Christ offers you, put them on, and when God looks at you, he doesn't see your own, your righteousness he sees Christ's righteousness. Why not come today? Put your faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ who loves you and died for you on that cross. May the Lord bless and keep you all safe today for his name's sake. Amen.